Good day. Today I want to show you another free Excel program you as an engineer can use to design a pad foundations or pad footing. You will enter data in blue cells. Now in the first section we have where we can input the project name, the title of the design, the date and so on. Directly under that section we have the material section where we can fill in data we need to design our pad footing which involves the strength of concrete, strength of steel, the bearing pressure of soil, cover to reinforcement and the power factors of the safety. And then next we move on to the dimension where we start to fill in dimensions for the pad footing that we expect to work based on our calculated axial load acting on the foundation base. So, assuming we have a load, a nice load of 1000 kilonewtons and imposed load of uh, 128 uh, kilonewtons, looking at the right of the screen, we find out that uh, the program even gives us suggestions of the length and breadth of the base that will work. So, for instance, it tells us we can choose a 2385 square. So, let's try the 2385 square and let's see whether our design work 2385 for the length and 2385 for the breadth. It tells us status fails on punching. So when we look at the graph here, we find out that the punching is 184%. So that is why it's failing. So um, what do we do when it fails on punching? Okay, let's try and see if we can increase the, the depth of the, the pad footing to say 400 millimeters. So let's see that whether the design will work. And so this tells us it's failing, although the punching has reduced here, but it tells us it's failing on ground bearing pressure punching. So, um, what do we do? Okay, let's change the size of the column. Let's increase the size of the column to say 400 by 400 millimeters. And let's see whether the thing works. Well, it still doesn't work. It says fails on GDP, I think, because this thing is still about 100%. So, let's increase the length of the base. To say 2400, you can see that now our status says valid design. And then when we scroll down, we see our reinforcements for the part footing. This is how you can easily design a part footing to BS8110. Clicking on double, you can also use this Excel program to design part footing that is holding two columns. The link to download this program is available in the video's description. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.